welcome to Cooking with Jesse. Today we are making a very simple brownie in a mug recipe. You're going to need four ingredients. So we have flour, of course, to make sure it cooks. Um, about three celery sticks, chocolate for the brownie aspect of this recipe, and then cane sugar. Make sure it's organic cane sugar, raw cane sugar as opposed to um, brown sugar. All right, so the first step is to put the flour in. So usually you just kind of fill it up like maybe about like a fifth um, is about right. That. Oh, I forgot to mention, make sure you have, as well as the ingredients of course, a wooden spoon. It's important that it's wooden because if it's metal, it just doesn't taste quite the same. Um, a roller pin, a whisk, and these measuring cups. Make sure you have one of each size because we will be using um, all of them. So you need one eighth a cup, one fourth a cup, one third a cup, one half a cup, and one cup. Um, for this recipe. So, first thing you're going to do is break up the celery. So if you don't like the strings on the celery, which is understandable, there's this trick where if you break it, then you can rip off some of those strings. But then you might as well put the strings in too if you want that texture. It just depends on your own personal preferences. So break this up into little pieces, and if you do this correctly, you won't even be able to notice um, the celery in the brownie recipe, so it won't, um, it won't interfere with the taste at all. So sometimes there's a little bit of moisture in there and that can kind of affect the flavor, so just make sure you kind of wipe it off on your hands before throwing that in there. Okay. Alright, and then when you have two sticks remaining, just stick them in and that serves as a little bit of decoration um, for the brownie in the mug. So next we are going to take, um, let's, let's take the sugar. So this is very important that you get half of one eighth cup of sugar. You know, if you're not very good at like eyeing things, make sure you get a helpful friend to come and eye it for you. Make sure it's exactly half. This is extremely important, otherwise the level of sweetness will be all screwed up. Okay, so sprinkle this on. Take your spoon. So at this point, it should look about like this. Alright, final ingredient, and I would say the most important if you're a chocolate lover, take those chocolate chips, throw that bag, pop a few in. Okay, one fourth cup. If you really like chocolate, you can take one third cup. Pour it right in. Stir that in. Notice how as you add the chocolate, the celery just kind of disappears right in there. Your kids won't notice a thing. Okay, last step. Add a little water if the flour is kind of dusty. I like to just use my hands and that way I don't have to get any more supplies wet. Last step, as you know, in a mug recipe to make sure that's cooked. Very important not to eat um, raw cookie dough as you might um, develop salmonella. Okay, I can put that in for about 20 seconds. Should be enough to cook that celery right up. Sometimes as the microwave is going, you can start kind of cleaning up. Sometimes if I'm really fast, I can get everything cleaned up by the time the microwave goes off. Not quite this time. Next time I'll try harder. And there we go. Celery on top should be warm. Nice, perfect the way you like it. And there you have it, folks. 